I did and obviously I'm on, I'm on a mission I've put it in there I'm on a mission to save myself 15,000 pounds so we're gonna unflat pack that and also probably upcycle it so it matches my new drawers and shelving unit thing that I'm in the carpet if the paint drops that is potentially the end of the world I feel like maybe she started eating the plasterboard wall again Good morning and we are starting yet another video in the car. We are currently on our way to go and have some breakfast. It is 8.30 in the morning, which is very early I think for breakfast, but this place that we're going to, I saw it online, it's on the island where we live and they stop serving breakfast at 10. So I thought we'll go at nine and then that's like the whole day, isn't it? So I wanted to book it to say well done to Ray because he's done well at work some things happened at work where he's done well so I thought we'll do that for breakfast this morning and then when we get back we'll then crack on with the rest of the day and where it is it looks like it's a lovely location so hopefully it is because I thought we'd have breakfast first and then if it seems like it's really nice then we can also like go dinner or I think they even do like treatments there <laughs> steady girl steady. so we can get There's a massage breakfast there. But yeah, no, it sounds nice to be fair, bro. Um, yeah, so, I think yeah. it's on by the like by the sea, so I think it has a nice view. Should be good though. Should be lovely. So yeah, we're going to breakfast, and then when we get back, we then I think we'll take Bonnie for a walk. Yeah, we've got to take her for a walk. I think we'll go and take Bonnie to a, to the beach and have a nice beach walk because we've not done one of those in a couple of weeks actually. Yeah, she's done that outside and. Um, yeah, she's been to walks around here, but she's not done like a beach walk. No, it's different. Um. Yeah. So we'll probably go to the beach, and then when we get back, we're doing an array of house activities. We've got to do a bit of sort out. We've got a cupboard downstairs, which is just a bit of a mess. We need to sort that out. And then Wade needs to start on his his own wardrobe slash office room upstairs so he needs to start sorting out some of his clothes and then I'm probably going to be doing a bit of flat packing because I bought a desk from Ikea from when we first moved in and I only bought it on a bit of a whim to say like oh I probably just need a desk just to work on because I work from home a lot but then I never I ended up never using it I always worked at the table so I thought there's no point in getting rid of it I might as well use the desk that I've got so we're gonna unflat pack that and also probably upcycle it so it matches my new drawers and shelving unit thing that I made but we'll see you when we get to breakfast From my window Sun's coming up like the day before You're like a stone on my pillow I don't make a sound when I shut the door You don't have to wake up yet We can spend all day in Marathon, KG saxophone We'll order in a bunch of food I'll put your favorite music on All the way baritone yeah. Shut the lights, go in front of So we got back a couple of hours ago and it made me really tired where I did so yesterday so you would have seen in the last video now yesterday I done the upcycling of my chest of drawers and cupboard so I was at it for a good 12 hours so I was quite tired this morning and then we had to get up early to go to breakfast and then by the time we had a big breakfast at a lovely place by the way the location was absolutely lovely they was actually having a wedding there and me and Wade were saying like how nice it would be to have a wedding there so it was, yeah, it was really lovely. Um, but yeah, the breakfast was really nice. And then by the time we got back, we was full and I'm tired. So I then just had a little bit of a, oh, hit myself on the head. I had a bit of a relax on the sofa for a little bit. 
and then got into my walking gear because we're going to take Bonnie for a walk. So I put in my got on my thermal jumper and I put a hat on because it's very rainy today and my hair needs a good hair wash where I've been doing all the work around the house and stuff and been getting a little bit sweaty as I've been putting in a lot of manual labour I need to give my hair a good hair wash but I'm going to do a little bit more work today because I'm going to do a bit of the flat packing and potentially some other bits as well so I thought there's no point me like doing my nails or my hair today if I'm just going to get it all messy again so the plan is to have another day or sort of work and then but finish a lot earlier than last night. Last night I finished at like 10pm. So finish a lot earlier than last night and then have a lovely relaxing Sunday bath. Pamper, I'm going to have a face mask, I'm going to have a hair mask, I'm going to do my nails. I'm going to do the whole shebang to get me ready for next week. So because obviously Monday starts again, the working week starts again. So to make sure that I'm all ready for tomorrow, I'll be having a nice pamper this evening. But apart from that, I think that's it. I'm literally just waiting for Wade to see when he wants to go. It is drizzling, so I don't know if he wants to go now or if he wants to wait a little bit. But I've got Bon Bon here in her harness already. This is her new black harness, by the way. She had that red one before, which was getting a little bit too small. And she's got so big, she's upgraded in size. She's got the bigger one now. The red one was like extra small and this one's a small. So she's getting bigger in her black harness and we're just laying down waiting for Wade to come and tell us what time we're going to go for a walk aren't we bomb bomb aren't we girly yeah Mwah. yay oh also yesterday i didn't even put it in the vlog yesterday i don't think um or in the last vlog that you would have seen I was walking up the stairs with, I had like, I had too much in my hand to be fair. I was walking up the stairs with a paint pot, a paint brush in my mouth, like the handle, I was I was holding it in my mouth I didn't have anywhere to put it. Um, and it had a little bit of paint on the bristles and my cup of tea and my phone. And as I was walking up to the top floor, I slipped down the carpet on the stairs. And you know, you have that like slow motion where you're like, all right, I'm 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 falling. I had enough time to think this as well, which I think is pretty impressive. But you're falling, you're like, which, what thing is best to like drop? And then what thing do I need to keep hold of and like protect at all costs? And I thought to myself, well, if the tea drops, that's not the end of the world because I can just clean the carpet. If the paint drops, that is potentially the end of the world. So I held on to the paint, dropped the cup of tea, so that, that went on the floor held onto the paint, held onto the paintbrush in my mouth, dropped my phone as well, and then my knee went smack on the carpet, like, not even on the carpet, on the stairs. So I think it was slightly cushioned by the carpet, which was good, but I still really hurt my knee. I was like, I was like, wait, 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 wait. Um, so yeah, it really, really hurt, and I've now got a massive bruise on my knee. I was a bit worried that I'd wake up this morning and not be able to walk around properly, but I was okay. I just have a big bruise on my knee now, so... This whole DIY malarkey is a bit of a dangerous job, to be honest. But I am also the most clumsiest person in the world. I hit my head all the time, and I'm always falling over. Even this morning, when we was at breakfast, I was pouring the glass of orange juice, and somehow I poured it outside of the glass, and it went all over the table. Like, just, I don't even know what's wrong with me, Bon Bon. I think I need help. But anyways, I'll see you on our walk. My best friend didn't care about the rules, good on the weekends. I'll be in fools, drifting the deep space. So brave and so stupid, just like the movies. How it's gonna stay in the fight with you? Just thinking we would do this until we couldn't do it. Each and every high, every night with you. You and me, so clueless.
you ready for a ball? Hanging on those strings. Big ball and I'm big block. up just to continue on this video i've come in the living room and there's stuff on the sofa and i can't work out what bonnie's done like i've gone all around the house to see like what could she have done i feel like maybe she started eating the plasterboard wall again but look this is what the sofa looked like when i came downstairs what is all that white powder that's definitely plasterboard isn't it she's definitely had a chunk somewhere but i've gone round all of the bottom of the house and i can't find it i can't find where she's taken a chunk out of it i just tried to phone wade as well so that i could show him and he's at work so he'll phone me back but i don't understand where it's come from because there's nothing like on the floor like there's no patches of dust anywhere and i don't know what she's done i Obviously, she's at the plasterboard wall in the past, which I still haven't filled yet, but I'll show you. Unless she's just had another chunk out of this. Let me have a feel of it. Is it wet? It's not wet, and that would definitely be wet if she just take a chunk out of that again. But I don't know if I showed you this. Look at this. What has, like, what is that? That is Bonnie taking a chunk out of the plasterboard. So she must have done it again, but I can't work out where because I can't see any holes anywhere. Oh well. Sorry, that was two minutes of me just rambling about some dust that I found on the sofa and I don't know where it's come from. Um, anyways, I am... It's been a few days since I last spoke to you on this video. Um, on Sunday we had breakfast and then I was really tired, like overtired. I think I pushed myself quite a lot doing the upcycling from the last video if you've not seen that video i'll link it up here because i really i just edited it and i absolutely love that video and i'm so impressed with what i did and obviously I'm on, I'm on a mission i've put it in there i'm on a mission to save myself fifteen thousand pounds because obviously i got quoted for the wardrobes like i could have for Hammond's it was like 18 grand so I'm on a mission to save all that money and that was the first episode of it and I loved it and I'm so happy with what I've done with that so watch that if you've not seen it because this is episode two but anyways in this one where was I getting to tangent yes I was very tired on Sunday after our breakfast so then I ended up having a nap and then yesterday I just worked all day and did some editing last night and then today obviously I've worked again and then now I've finished work and I've got a bit of energy in me so I thought we could continue and do a bit of flat pack so I'm just gonna get myself ready and then go upstairs that's what I was in the middle of doing coming down to get the drill take that upstairs and I was gonna bring Bonnie with me so that she could be with me but now I feel like because she had the plasterboard should I leave her downstairs but no I'll bring her with me I won't tell you off Please don't go around eating plasterboard. It's not healthy. It's not even good for you. It doesn't even taste nice. It must taste like chalk. Um, but yeah, we'll go upstairs in a second and we'll start unpacking my desk that I got from Ikea. I don't remember which one I got because we got it before we moved in. It was supposed to be like a stopgap until I'd done my wardrobe room properly and I was going to use it just to work. But I've ended up just working downstairs on the kitchen table. So I can't remember what desk I got. It doesn't say it on the box. So we'll see when we open it. But we're going to flat pack, build the flat pack today. And then if we've got time, we'll do a bit of sanding and painting. But if not, then we'll carry it on tomorrow because Wade will be home and we'll eat dinner in a couple of hours. So I've only got a few hours to do it. So we'll see how much we do. But I'll see you upstairs in a sec.
work and I've just finished so I'm a little bit tired but I want to just do this one a little bit at a time instead of doing like the crazy 12 hour thing that I did last time with this unit I wanted to do this one like a bit at a time every day to then get to where I want to get eventually with it and I don't think it's going to take me that long now sort of understand how to do everything but I built the desk last night so it's all up you're currently sitting on it and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to drill some holes because the this particular cabinet from Ikea doesn't have any knobs and I want them to have the same matching knobs that that unit has so the brass hexagon knobs. So I'm going to drill some holes in the two drawers and in the cupboard and then put, no I'll drill the holes first, then we're going to paint it in the same colour and then I can put all the knobs on and then once I've done that then I'm going to measure the top and then go and get another wooden top so it matches that. And that's how basically the units are going to go in here. So you'll, you'll get and see the vibe of it. So they're all going to be in that colour. They're all going to have gold, brass, hexagon knobs. They're all going to have wooden tops. And then once we get around to the other units, then they're going to have like mirrors and maybe bits of panelling on the doors. And we'll get a little bit adventurous as we go around the room. And then I'm also starting to think about what I want to do on the walls. So whether... I want to put some shelves up there, maybe do a little bit of paint, maybe a bit of a design feature with some dark green, maybe add some dark green elements into it. I just ordered my office chair, so the chair that will be at the desk, I just ordered that and that is going to be a dark green velvet chair with like the gold almost legs, like the spider legs. <laughs> you know the one where you can spin the swivel chairs, that's what they're called, the swivel office chairs. I've just ordered one of those and that's probably one of the units that's going to be the most expensive thing in it, I think. Um, it wasn't crazy, I think it was like £140. But obviously everything else is like diy or Ikea, so it was more of an expensive piece but I really liked it and I wanted to have a lovely chair. I was thinking about getting a second hand one and upcycling that but I just wanted a new one so I thought I could still spend on some things and it would still save me a lot of money so that is all good and um, so that's on its way I'm hoping that'll be here in the next three to five days but getting back to this unit so I don't think I showed you once I built it so it's the Mickey desk from Ikea and I wasn't sure whether I got the one that was like really small and just had like two legs or whether I got the one with the cupboard and I'm so glad that I got the one with the cupboard on it because otherwise I just think it wouldn't have been useful at all and I would have had to change it. So it's just the really standard one, it's got a big drawer there, it's got a small drawer in there and then it's got a cupboard with two shelves. So my first plan of action is to drill a hole so I'm going to measure between those two. I don't know if it's going to do a, should I do a half knob? Like right in the half, or should I do a top one? I think I'll do right in the half. So I'm going to measure between it, work out exactly what halfway is, drill the hole, and then I'm also going to drill a hole in the drawer and in that drawer as well. Should I put two uh, two in there or just one? Hmm. Think about it. Should I have one knob or a knob there and a knob there so that it matches the chest of drawers? Decisions. I'll decide as I'm going through. I'll start off with this cupboard. And then I'll move on to that and by the time I get to there then I would have made a decision. So I'm going to do that now and then we're going to paint it in exactly the same colour. I've been researching online how best to paint Ikea furniture because it's like laminate wood. And I wasn't sure whether you'd have to like sand it but it said you can just paint directly on it if you use the right paint. And the French Chic furniture paint is like no prime so hopefully that's the right one to use. So I'm going to use that. And that is probably going to be what I'm going to do today and I might pop to home base if I finish on time. We'll see. So I think on this one, you've seen me paint, so I'm not going to, in the last video, 
So I'm not going to do that. What I'm thinking I'm going to do is a 321. So halfway through the process, by the time you see it next, it would have been painted and have the gold knobs on it. So let's do a three, two, one. Okay, it's not exactly the transformation that I said that we would do after our 321, but I have been working at it for many an hour, so I thought I'd show you where I got to tonight because also I let me spin you around. Also, I popped to home base a couple of hours ago, so I thought I might as well go and get everything I needed to finish the desk off, and then I could just work on it over today and tomorrow. So I've been doing it for a good like three hours, but I went to home base and I picked up a couple of bits. So I got some Hammerite metal paint in smooth gold and that is to paint this leg so this particular desk from ikea has a metal leg along the side and it was in white so i thought it would look lovely if i painted that in gold so i've done two coats i think it will need another coat tomorrow and then that should be fully coated and then also i saw this and it's the furniture lacquer liqueur lacquer i think lacquer um which is the hard wearing clear protective coat you use it over like a chalky finished furniture paint i got it in the clear matte so i've just done a coat of that as well so what i've been doing over the last few hours is i've done two or i think i did two coats in most places with all the mess behind me i did two coats in most places on the desk and then in some places i had to do three coats like if it wasn't taking as well i think it's because it's that laminate wood whereas on the pine it just went straight on with like two coats so it's a lot easier and then i had then done a layer of that clear matte lacquer and I took off the shelf door and I took all the drawers out just to make it easier and I fully painted it like I went all the way inside all the way under so everything is fully fully painted so that no matter where you're looking at it it's all in that one green colour I thought that would be a lot better than just like not painting the insides the only thing i haven't painted is the actual inside of the drawers i've left those white and i thought that'd be okay because i'm gonna fill those all with um like organizers so i can organize like my makeup and things like that but i painted the shelf painted the inside of the unit so two or three coats of the french chic furniture paint a coat of the liqueur liqueur lacquer and then i also picked up from home base the wood top that's going to sit on top of it similar to the chest of drawers unit and again, I just got a big piece of spruce wood, which originally is that colour there. And I have so far coated it twice in the wood stain, which is this one. So the oak wood stain, it's like a, yeah, it's an oak wood stain. I've coated it twice so far. I'm going to do it one more time because that's what I did on the chest of drawers so that they're all nice and matching. And then I'm also going to coat that in a clear coat as well so that it's all protected. I need to actually do it on this unit. So I've not protected this unit. I've not put a clear coat on it. So I'm going to do that tomorrow as well. But that was my progress so far today. So I'm now going to go downstairs. It's currently half eight at night. And I told Wade I'd come down so that we can make dinner together. So I'm going to run downstairs and make some dinner. We're going to have a gusto meal tonight because it's Wednesday. And I think we've got... Philly cheese steaks, which is like steak with cheese in a ciabatta. So it does look and sound lovely. Who are you barking at? Who are you barking at? Were you not sure who it was? Was you thinking? Oh, she thought who was I talking to? Was you protecting me, Bonnie? Bon Bon, come see me. I've not seen you in a few hours. I was talking to the camera. Mwah. All right, afternoon everyone. It is the next day again. Like I said, this one is going to be a little bit choppy because I'm doing it like over a course of a few days instead of in one day. So sorry if it makes it like a little bit like stop and start, but I'm doing like a little bit as we go. So hopefully that's okay. I, you can always tell when it's getting to hair wash day because the hair goes more and more up. So yesterday it was like, the two clips and then today I'm trying out this other hairstyle and I've got on a comfy t-shirt and some leggings because we're carrying on with the furniture so I made I think a lot of progress yesterday on this particular unit and when I was up here yesterday I thought I'd cheekily just put on the, the wooden top it's not fully finished I need to 
stain it one more time but I thought I'd pop on the wooden top just to see what it looked like and put on one knob just so that I can start to get the vibe of it and it's gonna be so nice like it's crazy to think that this was just like a white Ikea unit and now it just looks so much better well in my opinion anyways but let me spring you around so I popped on the wooden top last night I need to stain it one more time so that it matches the same colour as the unit behind me the chest of drawers and then I put one knob on just to get the effect of it which I think looks lovely so I just need to get on that knob and that knob and I, cl I clear coated it all in that lacquer so that it's all protected which I need to do on the drawers as well but I'm going to do that once I tidy up all the mess because it's getting a bit crazy in here at the moment I've got a Miss Bonnie with me so my task for right now is to stain the top again and then what I also picked up from the French Chic Furniture Company was this furniture wax which is a browning wax which I'm going to use for the tops of both this unit and also the chest of drawers unit as well so I thought while that stain is drying then I can pop the browning wax on this unit here so it's all protected because at the moment I can still feel that if I put anything on it that I could ruin it so we could put the browning wax on that so it's all lovely and protected I can put a nice vase and like books and all the, all the good stuff and make it look all pretty so that is my task for now and then I'm also going to put the knobs on once that's done, oh, and I need to paint the leg as well. And sorry for all the mess, it's like my workstation, plus obviously I'm in a room of clothes. So I need to paint the gold leg one more time with one more coat, and then I think that should be all ready to go. And then that is this unit pretty much. So I'm going to get cracking with that, and then I'm going to, I think we'll probably have to wait a few hours until later. So I've got a little bit of time now to get this bit done, and then we'll leave it to dry, and then later we'll come up together and put it into its place so you can see what it looks like in situ and then I'm probably going to need your help because I actually am deciding what to maybe put above it maybe to get a unit or just to do some shelves so we'll look at that together and see what we think but I'll catch you guys a little bit later once um, everything's dry and we're ready to put it into position right it is quite a few hours later now I did a bit up here and then I went downstairs cleaned up downstairs and then made some dinner the dinner is currently cooking in the oven and Wade, I can just hear him downstairs, he's got through the door. He came home about half an hour ago and then he just took Bonnie out for a little walk. So I thought I'd quickly run up here and what they said after you use the browning wax from the French Chic Furniture Company is to then buff it after a certain amount of time. It says like minimum 45 minutes. I've left it for a few hours and then all I did was just come up here and use some of this method wood polish with a yellow duster and just sprayed it all around wiped it and then buffed it all in so it is ready now and I actually think the wood looks a lot better now I've put that brown in max on it so I'm gonna spin you around I've done a bit of a clean in here as well so it's not as much of a chip as it was but here is the finished product so this is my new desk and what I'm gonna have on here is my Mac is gonna sit on that side of my keyboard and my mouse and in here I'm just going to get a little beauty mirror for me to be able to do my makeup. And I've got a chair coming tomorrow which is going to sit down here. And then I'm probably going to have mostly in here is going to be hair tools and makeup. So I'll probably put makeup in the top two drawers if I get some organisers. And then put hair tools in some baskets in the cupboard. But it's all completely done. So I've done a similar thing that I did with the chest of drawers. So painted it all in the... Frenchic Furniture Company's colour of eye candy and then I have painted everywhere so all inside and outside and then put on the hexagon brass knobs from Amazon same exact ones I got for the chest of drawers and I painted the metal leg on the right hand side in gold that did take quite a few coats of paint to get that to the colour I think I had to do about three in the end whereas the paint only took about two and then I covered it all in that lacquer which is the furniture sort of clear coat just to protect it all on top and then I've nailed down the wooden top so that's a spruce board similar to what I had last time so the original colour of it just in case you didn't see is that there so that very light sort of beachy colour and I stained it three times with an oak stain and then I used the browning wax 
and put the brining wax all over it and then buffed it all in just a minute ago and I love the colour of it now I think it looks so much better especially with that brining wax and what I did was I took the desk slightly past so I took the top slightly past the desk on that side slightly past at the back and then slightly past on the right just to create a bit of an illusion of a bigger desk than it just being directly on top of it and I think that looks lovely i'm very very happy with it it's a completely different desk like you would never think that that was the original ikea desk if you didn't know any better and obviously you didn't watch this video but if you just came in here and saw it you wouldn't think that that was the ikea desk so i am extremely happy with it and now i've got two pieces in here so i've got the original trester drawers that we did in the last episode let's block out everything that's all the mess over there that's all clothes i need to fold away and then we've got the desk from this episode so now when you're in this view I'm hoping that you can start to see it come together and what it will look like in here eventually once I've got it all done so in the next episode of this I think I might have a little break from this particular episode and um, the next couple of videos might just be different ones still like moving e-vlogs and probably a couple of like day in the life but the next project up here will be my window seat so I couldn't find any furniture that I could upcycle which was the exact size that I wanted for this. So I'm going to be building it all from scratch. My dad's currently drawing me out some design so I'm quite excited to do that. So that would be the next thing. It would be the window seat there. And then after that it will be the shoe storage which will go along that wall. And then finally we'll end with the long hanging spaces in this area. So another couple of episodes to go which I am very excited for because it means that it's all coming together and... I'm on my mission to like save, I think in total I'm trying to save like the 15 grand because I obviously got a couple of quotes from the companies and the quotes range from about 10 to 18 grand, obviously I'm saying 18 grand is like the biggest quote, so I'm on a mission to save 15 grand and what I thought I would do is um, I've started writing down the prices, so just so you know, because I think in the last video I said that the chest of drawers was around 200 pounds but I've worked it out exactly. I've been writing down every little bit of um, items that I needed to purchase for each of the things. So chest of drawers, so this unit here, it was £30 for the chest of drawers from Facebook Marketplace, £50 for the MDF, £40 for the wood, paint was £10, knobs 18 screws were 10 and then the clear coat was 10 So the chest of drawers came to a total, if you can see, came to a total of £168 and then this is really weird but the desk also comes to the same price so for the desk it was £70 for the desk from Ikea £10 for the paint, £50 for the wood, £10 for the clear coat, £10 for the knobs and £10 also for the gold paint as well so the desk also came to £168 and so and then I've also worked out what the shoe covers are going to be. So the shoe covers, once they get here, and obviously I do all of that, they will come to a total of £385. So, so far, once I've done the chest of drawers, the desk, and the shoe wall, we'll be at a total of 71 which is amazing, isn't it? Like, how much am I going to save? I'm just beyond happy with it, and I'm very happy with the, the result that I've done. Um... I thought I'd carry on this video tomorrow just because I'm going to be getting a chair so I want to show you that so that it finishes off this little area to have the chair but obviously we're going to be styling it as well so that will come in probably another video but I definitely want to show you the chair when it arrives tomorrow. Evening, it is another day in this video, we've probably done about four or five days in this video to get to where we are now um, but my chair arrived for my desk. So I wanted to do it together and we can build it, put it on the desk and then also from the last video you would have seen that I got some stuff for the range just to put on the chest of drawers, the desk and then also maybe something on the windowsill but at the moment I've got paint up there so I might bring that all down and then clean up the windowsill and put some stuff on there so that we can start dressing it a little bit. I know that the room is not done at all and I've not even got to the bit where I do with the clothes or the shoe storage but... I thought even if I can get this side of it into a nice state because my next one and I said it before my next moving vlog is going to be building the window seats and then this side of the room will be completely done then so I wanted to go and get some things to dress it just to make me feel a little bit better about it and then also actually start organising and getting some stuff in here because it's just going to change 
my life at the moment because yeah I'm, I'm living out of I've got clothes folded on the floor I've got the rail I've got makeup in a makeup bag I'm a bit like a a traveling person at the moment around the house of all my stuff so if I can just be a bit more stationary in this room and like set it up and get it all organized then I think that will help me a lot more and also it means I can work up here I can edit videos up here I can actually bring the Mac up and do it there whereas what I'm doing at the moment is I bring the Mac out in the living room and edit the videos and then I put it back away again so I'm always moving it around so I can bring it up here and it can just stay where it is so I thought if I can make it a bit more of a, a nice space to be in then I'll be quite happy to just to sit up here. So that's the plan. But I thought we could make the chair together. So I got a, um, I think I said it before, I got an office -y type chair, but obviously a prettier version of one. And I got it from a company called Cult Furniture. I was looking online, I wanted a velvet one and I wanted one that was green and, um, and brass so that it matched all the rest of the decor in, in the room and what we've done so far. So I found this one from Colt Furniture, it was a, the best one that I found. I had a couple of options and I ran through them with Wade and he said that he also thought this was the best one. So it was really quick delivery, I ordered it on Tuesday and it arrived today and today's Friday. So it was only a couple of days, it came here in no time at all. So I'm going to get you on another time lapse and we'll build the chair and then we'll see what it looks like and then we can actually start dressing the room. To settle down Day nights and late nights Don't get around But there's something about you Something about you I like About you I like You're crazy for saying I should slow down But maybe I'm escaping The love we found There's something about you Something about you done with our styling for tonight obviously there's loads more to go we've got a big window seat gonna get my computer up here a mirror all that type of good stuff but this is what we're looking like for now and i think it looks very very nice i'm i'm over the moon that like this room's coming together honestly it just makes me so happy so the chair from cult furniture it was so easy to put together like you just basically snap everything into place and then um, use the allen key just to screw up a couple of bolts on the bottom and that was it so really really easy it's one of the ones where it's got like the pump so you can like put it up you can put it down my desk is quite low so I'll probably keep it as low as it is there but it's got the brass legs with the black wheels and then the colour never shows up on um, the camera properly but it's a forest green colour very similar to our bed headboard downstairs and I wanted it to be a darker green colour to like complement the lighter green and I think that works really really well so I'm very very happy with it it's also very comfortable it's a swivel chair and I can sort of roll around um, go like between the drawers and all that sort of stuff so I'm going to have the Mac on one side and then like the beauty on the other side so I can sort of like swivel to each side of uh, whatever I need to be doing and then on the chest of drawers what I've done is I've just put this vase here with the faux flowers I'm not sure about this um, I might change that I'm not entirely in love with those flowers in there so I might use them somewhere else and just get something else to put in that vase it just looks I think where it's like a slim vase it probably just needs something to go more outward like a pampas or something like that instead of this but I'll have a think about it for now 
it looks quite sweet. And then I've got the lantern with the LED candle in there. I just put some batteries in so I can turn it on and see the effect of it. And I really like how the rope is on the front of it. I think that looks really nice. And then also with the wooden boxes there. And it almost creates like a bit like a beachy vibe, doesn't it? With like the washed white lantern with that type of like wooden box. And then it's on like the oak top. It creates that sort of like beachy vibe, which I actually really like. And then on the windowsill, I've got the other vase. I've stuck some bunny tails in there for... I think that's what they're called. Um, that's of a pampas. Actually, you know, I think this is just pampas. It's not bunny tails, is it? Bunny tails when it's like the long stem and then the little bit at the bottom. I think this is just a different type of pampas. But I put that in there for now. I think what I'm going to do is put something in the bottom so they stand up more and they come out. Because, again, that's quite a long neck of a vase. And then I've put the diffuser that I got from the range. And then, I don't know if you remember, but when we went to Primark a couple of weeks ago now, probably longer than that, we picked up that massive diffuser which is in on like the stairs where the window is and then also this massive candle smells absolutely lovely so i thought because i've got the diffuser now it's the same color i'll also put the candle and i actually think it works okay in here I'm, I, I was a bit worried about the color of it but i think it looks quite nice and then i've got the bigger lantern with the other led candle this one is so big that I think I'm going to get another candle in there. So they'll have like two. Or I might get like a trio. So have like another, like almost like different sizes. So have a smaller one, then like a really small one. Or even like a tea light or something just to fill it up a bit more. But again, I quite like that. And then at the moment, obviously there's nothing on the desk. But what I did do is I put in the organisers. So this big one fit in this drawer here which is perfect i might get something to fill in here maybe some small ones just to fit alongside just to further organize it but i'm quite happy with the space that's there unfortunately the smaller ones did not fit in this drawer it's just way too slim so i put them in the cupboard which i'm not too mad at to be honest so it can just be organized in the cupboard i'm going to use the majority of this for beauty products so that probably works quite well anyways and then i'll probably put like a little basket at the bottom for maybe like hair care or something like that i do need to get somewhere to put all my hair tools but i'm thinking to get something under here because you know you can get those things like the hairdressers where you can put the hair dryer in and things like that i might get one of those to just pop under there so i can put hair dryer straighteners curlers all that good stuff and then also obviously my dyson air up and maybe the dyson air up can just go at the bottom shelf actually Maybe I'll do that. But that is it. So that's the next stage of the walking wardrobe complete. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you like my design and all the stuff that we picked up and what it sort of looks like in the room so far. I'd love to know your thoughts on it. And obviously we've got loads to come still. So I'm quite excited about it. But I'm going to end this one here. So thank you so much for watching. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Please leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Please subscribe if you're new here. I'm aiming for that 500 subscriber mark by April. Or by, by around in April. And um, that's sort of my aim at the moment. So please subscribe if you are new. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.